We're up to spirit tracks. There's like about a month and a half to go before Tears releases. Such a happy theme. This one, I don't have as many memories of, for some reason. Don't know why, I've played it. Definitely played it. It's gonna be one of these things that as I play it, I'll remember more, but... I do remember it was enjoyable. So you know, this is a used copy of the game. In case it wasn't obvious. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. But your, uh... Your file is gonna go. Well, do I have to... No, I'm gonna erase it. Rip. Okay. So, you know, because this is set in the same, same realm as the previous one, I'm just going to stick to the same name, because I'm lazy. Left. I'm left-handed? You sound so surprised. Yes. <laughs> Playing Breath of the Wild now, brand new Joy-Con shells, buttons, etc. Because, uh, well, you got a month to finish it, confirming. I do remember the soundtrack to this game being very good, though. So we'll, we'll shortly get reminded. Uh, I guess I can go to, like... I don't know. In the beginning, the people followed the spirits of good and all was peaceful. But that era of peace soon came to an end. The evil demon king rose to power, destroying everything in his path. This is probably better. The spirits of good had no choice but to face him in battle. The war that ensued seemed to last an eternity, and much blood was shed. Finally, the spirits subdued the demon king. Though they could not destroy him, their powers were greatly depleted. With their remaining power, they buried the Demon King's spirit in the ground. They built shackles to imprison him and a tower that acted as a lock. These shackles cover the land to this day. With their power drained, the spirits of good return to the heavens. Suddenly, bereft of demons and spirits, the land was entrusted to us. Boobs? Oh, the painting. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, I guess this one. Well, do I know how to tell the story or what? I call it Spirits and Demons at War. I only do this show once a year, you know. It's a blasted masterpiece. A. A. A blasterpiece. What's this? You fell asleep during my magnum opus? I can't believe this. You know, Lankles, a lot of people would love to be in your position. As my roommate, you get to see my work for free. Plus, I'm not getting any younger here. This story might be the only thing that proves I existed. Can't you pay attention for one minute? 
and listen to an old man's final creation. Are you listening to me, Lankles? Sort of. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Sorry for boring you. Look, here comes your mentor. Hello there, Alfonso. Okay, there's a name that rings a bell. Why are you still here, Lankles? Come on now, wipe the sleep out of your eyes. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Today is a very important day, you know. It's your audience with the princess. What? Don't tell me you forgot. You won't amount to much if you don't pay attention. Don't you want your engineer certificate? Well, the graduation ceremony is at the castle. Princess Zelda herself is going to do the honors. I'm headed to the station now, so meet me there. Remember, the station is up the road, don't get lost. Got it? Good. Then get a move on. The old guy is Nico. Yeah, I gathered, just with the painting in the background. See you later, Nico. Also that. That also makes it very obvious that it's Nico. Today is the day you graduate from apprentice to official train engineer. It's quite an honor, and you mustn't be late. Use the stylus to touch where you want to go. It's as easy as that. Yeah, okay, so it's... it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Off to the castle, scoot. Um, what would have made them go with a train? With a series that never had a train? I mean, I've read about how Nintendo uh, decides on games, what games to make. And uh, it seems to be that they'll pitch a mechanic before they pitch the game. So it's not like they'll go, hey, let's make a new New, new, Zeal new Zelda game. It'll be, oh, this is something interesting that we've come up. What game would be best to suit this? So I guess something made them go Zelda. Maybe because the previous one was a ship and now this is a train. I don't know. But that's what I've read about their process, uh, that they'll often pitch an idea in terms of a gameplay mechanic as opposed to say like, oh, let's make a sequel to Phantom Hourglass. Hey, Lankles, tap me, tap me! Good job, tapping is your friend. To chat, just tap the person you want to talk to. Wait a second, there are a bunch of rocks in front of the house. Somebody must have been up to no good when they put him here. Hey, you look like you've got some free time on your hands. Instead of just standing there, will you help clear the rocks out of the way? Yeah. Thank you, you're uh, so nice. Yeah, this is for you. If you see my big brother, get him good for me, okay? You're late. Do you understand the significance of today? In order to become a train engineer in this kingdom, you must have an audience with the princess. If she grants you her permission, you can finally operate a train by yourself. Now hop aboard. We're going to the castle. Yeah! Good, let's get going. Oh, but one last thing. You're going to drive the train to get us there. Call it your final exam. Don't look so worried. It'll be a piece of cake. You need to get us to the castle in 300 seconds. Right now, we're here, in Aboda Village. Our destination, Hyrule Castle, is here. There are other trains on the tracks, so be careful not to hit them. The tracks you can drive are on darker colors. 
on wait, on darker colored. What? The tracks you can drive are on darker colored. Darker colored what? <laughs> I don't know. That sentence doesn't make sense to me. The one the other ones are off limits. Got it? Yes. I like your confidence. I'll remind you how to operate the train on our way there. Hop aboard. I had some spicy food for dinner, so the cough is not sickness, it is spicy food cough. I got water, so I'm okay. You probably got this all down, but humor me while I tell you again. This here is the gearbox, slide the lever up and down to change the speed. Just wait, slide to that to go in reverse. You can also use the emergency brake too. This is the whistle. Touch it good to give it a good pull to blow the train's whistle. Oh, and you can look around by touching the direction you want to look. Good engineers are always aware of the surroundings, you know. Catch all that? Yes. I mean, the plot of this is the princess has to commit you to become an engineer, right? But if you think about it, unless she's got qualifications on judging what makes a good engineer, that is wildly inefficient. Don't worry. See how there's a fork on the tracks ahead? We'll need to use the switch rail to decide which direction to go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There were games that, from the DS era, that got remade for 3DS. I feel like this would be one of these games that would be good with the fake 3D effect, you know? And you could, you could make it so instead of touch controls it works, just with normal controls. follow this one behind. What can I beat it? Ooh. Ooh, train race. Nah, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll just flow in behind it. Why is this, why is, why is this train r much slower? You can get, you can give up. I was going at like the, the regulated speed, like if all these trains are the same. They should be going at the same speed. I guess I'm not ready to be an engineer. I'm good.
That's what happens when you put royalty in charge of certifying people for dangerous things. Yeah. When the royalty have no expertise of their own. I honked the horn. Oh, okay. I tooted the whistle as well, and Pig did not get out of the way. This is going well. This is, this is the very, very first uh, train segment, and this is how it's going. I didn't have this thing where I have to, I have to rush. So, what kind of rail system is this? This single track rail system where you can cause collisions, really? We've got a clear view of the Tower of Spirits today. Alright, we're almost at the castle. Use the lever on the gearbox to stop at the station. Uh-oh. Who's gonna get there first? Ooh. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> but see, like, at that point you know that you're screwed, right? Dude's like, are you sure you don't want to listen to my instructions? You sure? You sure? So far you've crashed into two trains, you've hit a pig. Are you sure? Hey, you're about to become a certified engineer, right? Are you sure? They get to the castle, the princess is like, yeah, that's fine. In the name of the Kingdom of Hyrule, I dub the train engineer. there was ever a rail system like this, you know? Just where you have to truly be that reactionary.
I guess, yeah, let's just go at a slower pace, right? Like, we'll just go at a cruising pace. Since we have to go behind this train. Even still, I think that train is slower. We should not be catching up to it. This should not be a thing. If they all have the same system... How have I already been playing this game for 20 minutes? <laughs> Has that really just happened? Good job, you passed the exam with flying colors. Did I? Did I really? I just look I just looked like someone that hasn't learned how to drive properly and just keeps reversing in and out of a parking space. Like six times to get it right, when really it should just be straight in. Uh, slipped him a 20. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You got us to Castletown. You know what else? You look good handling a train. That's the surest sign you're going to make a great engineer. Did you not witness the two crashes? Plus the, the, uh, the bludgeoning of that pig? Let's just head to the castle for your graduation ceremony. It's to the north. You can't miss it. Good luck now. Imagine if all driving exams were like that. Like, you hit a wild animal, you crash into two cars, driving instructors like, okay, that was great. You're a natural. Hey there, Lankel. So I hear your graduation is today. You know, I've always had a lot of respect for engineers. Thanks to them, we can go anywhere we want in the kingdom. Plus, they even transport goods to different places for us. Yep, when, I, when you graduate, I sure hope you'll take me out for a spin somewhere. By the way, do you know who built these railways? People say that they've been here since before we came to this land. But how could that be? You're an engineer, right? Do you know anything about this? Well... Oh, well, I guess I didn't really expect the kid to know the answer to that. What would you like to read about? Buy prize postcards and win yourself some treasure. The most postcards you send, the better your chances of winning. Okay. Guess let's just go. <laughs> hey, hey, howdy, mister. Me? Oh, I'm no good at long-winded introductions. I'm just an average guy who works the postman gig to get by. You can call me postman, all my friends do. Now, that you know my names, next time I see you, don't be shy, say hello. Speaking of names, you're Lankles, alright? I've got a letter for you, so I'll just jump right in and read it aloud. Oh wait, that's the way we used to do things, but no more. Apparently some folks thought reading their letters out loud was rude. So now our policy is to just hand deliver the mail unopened. Here you go. Okay, I've delivered your mail safely to you. Well, my work seems to be done here, so I'll be off. See you around. You know what? That's true, because... Historically, it wasn't the telegram a thing where... The delivery person would read out the letter. Like... At, at a certain point, that stopped. And maybe it was a privacy thing. Maybe it was just a case of just, hmm, I don't want this read out loud. 
Our new, our new postal system has started running today. If you're reading this letter, it means my new postman is doing his job right. He's as hardworking and efficient as they come, so be nice to him, won't you? We'll be in touch again if anything new comes up. What is it, kid? We're kind of busy protecting Hyrule Castle right now. If you've got no business here, I suggest you scram. What's that? You're here for the engineer graduation ceremony. Yes, sir. Ah, I'd completely forgotten that today was the graduation ceremony. Huh? I didn't know they gave engineer certificates to little kids like you. I guess times are a-changing. Well, go on in. Yes, yes, you small child. I believe your story that you're going to be a train engineer because you're wearing a hat. The princess's throne is up these stairs. Only invited guests are allowed in. What that means for you is get lost! What's all the commotion here? Oh, good day, Chancellor Cole. Apologies for the disturbance. This boy says he's come to see the princess. Is that so? You're here for the graduation ceremony? But you're so young! What a waste of resources. The spirit tracks are vanishing. Yet the princess insists on performing these ridiculous ceremonies. Well, come along, boy. We must get you to your ceremony. Follow me. Don't just stand there drooling, private. Move aside. Yes, sir. I remember this character. That's maximum dapper. Just two hats. He just needs a hat for his hat, and that's it. Most dapper of beings. Oh, I suppose I could. Since there's nothing on the top screen right now. Raising your head without permission? You ill-mannered urchin! Don't pay any attention to Chancellor Cole. You must be the new engineer. What's your name? Oh, Lankles is a wonderful name. Well, Lankles, by the power vested in me, I hereby proclaim you... We're wasting our time here, your highness. Please just hurry up and finish this foolish ceremony. <sighs> Very well, Chancellor. Thank you, teacher. I hereby recognize our newest royal engineer, as is per by me. Princess Zelda, the expert engineer who studied engineering for such a long time that I now have risen to a position of power where I can hereby proclaim that someone is an engineer. Lankles. Work hard, for we all rely on you, Lankles. You got your Royal Engineer Certificate. You are now a full-fledged engineer. Take this. Now don't say a word right now. Read this later, and beware of the Chancellor. Her mouth kept moving while I did that. Excellent. <laughs> but you know, if Link's an engineer, then I'm a fucking engineer. You know what I mean? Like... There was a CD in the 1990s that McDonald's released, and it would give you certificates for shit. So, based on that, according to the 1995 McDonald Land CD, I am a certified engineer too. The ceremony's over, so I suggest you move along. Why don't you go polish your train or something? Not that it matters much. Was that a euphemism? <laughs> go polish your train. <laughs> that thing will be useless. Oh yeah, no, he's... Yeah. 
Go polish a train. It'll be useless soon. Okay. Time to polish train. Oh, yes. See, this is this is bad city design. This is bad city design. This should have two. So then traffic can go either way. You're causing a bottleneck here. People needing to enter and people needing to leave. Terrible design. It's no wonder that children are becoming train engineers in this town. Is the graduation ceremony over? What do you mean it's over, but if you have something else to do, hurry up and do it. What? All oh, right, go the note. What about a note? I have a great favor that I must ask of you in person. Follow this secret path to the top of the castle. Tap the map icon to copy the location to your map. Please come to my quarters and don't let anyone see you. Okay. We just met, right? There is there is no pre-established relationship here. So it's just like, yes, I have a favor to ask. Stealth mission. So glad you made it, Lankles. Did any of the guards see you on the way here? Nope. Really? That's great. Listen, you're the only one who can help me. I have to ask a favor of you, Lankles. As you know, the Tower of Spirits has protected our kingdom for ages. The tower connects all the spirit tracks that crisscross the land. However, for some reason, they seem to be vanished from everywhere. Something must have happened to the tower to cause all this. I must go there to investigate. I've heard tales of a sage who guards our land and lives in the tower. Perhaps she might be able to shed some light on what's happening. Chancellor Cole forbids me from leaving the castle due to safety concerns. I think he just doesn't want me to go to the tower, though. But why? It's clear he's hiding something. I have the feeling that something terrible is about to happen. That's why I absolutely must get to the tower. What do you think? Will you take me on your train? Okay! Thank you so much, Lankles. Alright, please put this on right away. It's a recruit uniform. The guards are starting their patrols, so getting past them won't be easy. But if you wear this, they'll think you're one of them. Please get changed so we can go. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll look the other way. Please hurry. Looks good enough, I suppose. Now, let's go before the guards find us. I love how the the outfit it went from like you know the outfit of the hero that they put on for children coming of age and again another outfit of the hero and now it's just generic guard uniform 
These guards are pretty serious, so just pretend to be a new recruit. That way, if they see you, they'll think you're just one of them. But if they see me, I'm sure they'll make a big fuss and won't let me out. So please help me get past the guards without seeing me. I'll follow behind you, but if you want me to take a different route... Touch the marker at my feet and draw a path for me to walk on. Just draw the route you want me to follow. Okay. This is the switch icon. If we get split up, just tap to see it where I am. And this is the call icon. Tap it to call me over to where you are. Yes. Okay, act like one of the guards. Got it. I can't spin yet. <laughs> Hmm. Would you mind walking a little slow? <laughs> Stealth! Why would you say that? What? Why would you say that? In the time he said that, we could have made it. Hey, we need to be quiet so they don't catch us. Hey, would you mind walking a little slower? Hey! Hey! Be quiet! Or the guards will see us! Oh, it's the worst thing in a game when you're doing... A segment where you're supposed to be in stealth. You're supposed to not raise attention, and the person you're paired with just keeps fucking talking. It's no wonder we got caught. <laughs> Come on! Look, that guard isn't moving. He's just standing in the same place. Why don't you try to distract him somehow? I can slip past when he's looking the other way. Draw a path for me. Uh-oh. Cancel, cancel. Jeez, that was close. She's standing still, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. How do I get her to stand still? Okay, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, she's not in... Don't you have work to do, Rookie? Cut the grass or something? Okay, hang on. <laughs> that worked brilliantly. Same thing again, I guess. Wait, what did he say? Oh, it sure is nice weather we're having. Not that I'm uh, slacking on my patrol duties or anything. Okay. Why does it let me stop? Stop, stop, stop. Over here. Oh, come on, really?
I don't like that it lets you do that. Like, it doesn't have collision detection with the walls. is facing the wrong way, so it should be okay. Stop. Okay. That guard seems really serious about his job, Lankles. I don't think you can distract him with small talk. Is there some way you can get him to move from that spot? Why are you throwing rocks at me? I didn't throw them at you. That rock was nowhere near you. You can't come this way. This post is for the elite guards only. We did it! We made it out of the castle! Now let's board the train and head for the Tower of Spirits. What took you so long, Lankles? Did you keep me waiting just so you could change clothes? Oh! Hello, your highness! What are you doing here? Hello, Unfold, Alfonso. Have you been well? I'm so sorry we haven't spoken since you left the castle guard. I must admit, I miss hearing your bellowing orders in the courtyard. You're too kind to me. I'm sure hearing me yell all day was far from pleasant. But you shouldn't distract me with talk about the old days. I'll just come out and ask, what are you doing here without a proper escort? Are you responsible for this somehow, Lankles? I asked for his assistance, and I hope I can count on your help too, Alfonso. I would feel much safer with you at my side. Please come with us to the Tower of Spirits. To the Tower of Spirits? Whatever for? We don't have time to discuss right now. I'll tell you about it when we're aboard. But what if something happens? If something happens is exactly why I need you. Your once... <clears throat> Jeez, I still got spicy food. You were once the greatest swordsman in the whole kingdom. Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Now I'm just a simple train engineer living in the countryside. I can't be more than that, but I'll come along with you if you wish. Thank you, Alfonso. Okay, Lankles, to the Tower of Spirits. We're all aboard! That's my line. Yes, let's crash the train. Your Highness, look over there.
All I can think about is just they better call a, uh, a an engineer or an architect to build a new building. Some someone that you know Princess Zelda has certi certified. Um, what happened to the Tower of Spirits? Out for a leisurely stroll, your highness. Tisk tisk tisk. You know that's not allowed. Allowed by who? You, Chancellor Cole. <laughs> who else? Who do you think is really in charge? <laughs> My goodness, pretending to be human is exhausting. Who knew that? Chancellor was just another word for royal babysitter. I'd meant to keep up the ruse a bit longer, but you pushed me to this, princess. Bringing in the boy and the engineer didn't help either. What are you talking about? I'm talking about your infernal meddling. But now that those vile tracks are disappearing, the time is finally at hand. All we need now is... A little help <laughs> from you, your highness. I don't know who these two are, your highness, but with your permission, I'd be happy to teach him some manners. How gallant, how brave. How incredibly foolhardy. Enough out of you. My family has served the royal house for generations. Ah, melodrama bores me. Fine. Would you kindly dispose of this fool? <laughs> this man speaks the truth, Cole. His movements are not those of an amateur. But he is only human. <laughs> I told you I will defend the princess at any cost. And I told you, you're only human. Oh, Bun, you do know how to put on a show. Hmm. It was hardly a fair fight, Cole. Help me, Lankles. <laughs> no, don't come any closer. Good work, Brian. That takes care of the first step of our plan. <laughs> our work here is done. Come on now, Brian.
It's almost like a Popeye laugh, but not really. Welcome back, boy. I'm glad to see you're finally awake. There was some hubbub outside. When I went to investigate, people said that the spirit tracks were disappearing. After that point, the guards brought you and Alfonso in from outside. Both of you were out cold, so I've been waiting for you to come too. Tell me, what happened? So what you're saying is, the Chancellor is some kind of monster? And he kidnapped Princess Zelda? Hmm. My goodness, what a story. You're just pulling my leg though, aren't you? It's true, you say. Hmm. What? So what you're saying is, the princess has been kidnapped? This is terrible. I must inform the princess at once. Ah, yeah. That's right. She's not here. Well, I'm at a loss at what to do. Hmm? What to do? What to do? Ugh, my head. Did they hurt you, Lankles? What happened to the princess? Did she escape unarmed? As long as I'm laid up, you're responsible for her safety, Lankles. I really have no idea what you're talking about, little guy. And I certainly don't know anything about the princess being kidnapped. Or, for that matter, the chancellor being a monster. That's just crazy talk. We're all waiting to see what's going on with the disappearing spirit tracks. And do you know where the princess and the chancellor are? We could really use their help right now. Hello? Hello? Guards? Please help me. Can any of you see me? I need your help. Help! I need your help. Why can't anyone hear me? Oh, you know, you just walk through a door, so I figure you should be able to put two and two together. Great guard, doesn't ask any questions. Can you see me, Lankles? I must apologize to Alfonso for what happened. And to you too. I never knew the Chancellor was capable of such evil. All these years, and I never really noticed what he was, despite him smiling and having a really maniacal laugh every time we discussed the train, or the spirit tracks, or the tower, just, you know, I'm kind of surprised that I didn't pick up on this earlier. I was a fool. And the Tower of Spirits is breaking apart. You saw it too, didn't you, Lankles? It must have something to do with the Dark Forces. After all, they made the spirit tracks disappear. This must be the handiwork of Cole and his cronies. But what could their goal be? He said something about the spirit tracks vanishing. What did he mean by that? And why would they take my body away with them? What will they do with it? Oh, I'm sorry. It seems I'm much lighter without my body. Listen, Lankles. Let's try again to go to the Tower of Spirits. Now more than ever, we must find the Tower's Sage. But before we go, I want to show you something.
This spirit flute is a prized family heirloom. It has been handed down for generations. It originally belonged to one of my ancestors, the one who founded this kingdom. It is my greatest treasure of all. I can't carry it while I'm in this state, as you can see. But I'm certain it's meant to protect me. I can hardly ask you to do any more for me. But will you take this? And will you come to the tower with me? You're the only person I can turn to now. Spirit flutes. This pan flute will probably come in very handy. Thank you so much, Lankles. Now then, shall we go? I'll travel alongside you. Just wait a second, Lankles. The tracks are gone, and even if they weren't, we don't have a train. How can we get to the Tower of Spirits? Oh, I know. I've heard that there's a path from the castle to the tower. But if it does exist, it certainly hasn't been used recently. There's a door at the back of the castle. Maybe the path is somewhere there. Let's go see. <sighs> it's nice to not have just the sound of Navi in my ears every two minutes. Help! Help! Once again, just the improvement. Back of the castle, you say? You miss Navi, why? <laughs> also, hello, is it Twitch yet? Seeing if there's anything else while I'm here. Star fragment. This beautiful stone is rumored to have fallen from the sky. Mostly the memes. Okay. So it's just because. It's semi frust. I, I mean, I get genuinely frustrated, but I mean, a lot of the time I am just joking around when I do the voice of it. <laughs> I just have to look for this path, huh? Oh, it's probably here. What is it, recruit? Hey, you want to leave through this door? Well, I can just tell just by looking at you that you aren't adequately prepared. There are all sorts of strange beasts on the other side of this door. It's not the kind of place you want to go without a sword. He's right, Lankles. Heading to the Tower of Spirits without a sword is too dangerous. Why don't you go find the guard captain and ask him to loan you a sword? They'll probably just think you want it for training. This is kind of funny because, you know, we're having a conversation with this... with this guard here, and then suddenly we just turn to the side, like not even looking at his face anymore, and it looks like we're having a conversation, and then we turn back. You'd be a little concerned. Where's El, El Capitan? What now, recruit? Yeah, you want a sword so you can leave through the back of the castle. Did I get that right? Right. Some swordsmen than you are running around with no sword. There's something fishy about this. Are you really a new recruit? <laughs> Your eyes tell the whole story. All right, take this one. But listen, just because you have a sword doesn't make you a swordsman. Let me see if you're truly worthy of handling a weapon like that. TUTORIAL! 
These fellows are here to help you train. So don't hold back. Yes, it's the same as Phantom Hourglass. Good. Making different sounds, though. I would say the soundtrack in this is a lot better. Oh, the dizziness thing is still here. Good work, recruit. You've completed all the training exercises. Since you got the basics down, I'll give you the sword. Now keep up the good work and come back here to polish your skills. There's probably a mini game here later. Again, memories of this game are like very, very, very vague at best. You did a wonderful job. That was just amazing, Lankles. Now that you have a sword, we can exit through the door in the back. Let's go. But see, I don't mind because the sound is, is pretty subtle. I mean, yeah, it's, it's effectively the same thing. It's just, there's no... There's no Navi-like thing. Alright, I'm supposed to go up a floor first. Recruit. There are all sorts of monsters, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I see you got yourself a weapon. All right, then. Be careful. Need some backup here. Oh, um, hey there. It's dangerous being here by yourself with all these monsters. What? You're searching for a tunnel to take you to the Tower of Spirits? Well, there was a path up that way, but recently the rock falls have closed it off. I'm not exactly sure where it was, but if I were you, I'd investigate that wall. Yeah, this overworld music is much better. It's actually music as opposed to just the same beat looping. I guess it's the five second loop in Phantom Hourglass. This is actually music. It's awfully dark here, and it's kind of damp too. Is this really way the way to the tower? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking out loud. Come on, Lankles, let's go. I guess there's no memes on this one. I, I can't. I can't think of a joke to make. Just every time Zelda pops out. Other than it just looks like Link is crazy because he looks off to the side to talk to her. That sounds weird. That doesn't even sound like Link. Compare this voice. Right. To this. 
<laughs> it doesn't sound right. I'm not bothering to read the the, the signs because I assume this is all just tutorial stuff. This also seems to have like a much longer detonation timer than uh than before. Okay, maybe I needed to read it. Hit the right switch before the top switch. Okay, so... Let's just say this is three. We'll assume top switch is last right now. Before you hit the bottom switch, hit the top one. Okay, so hit the right switch before the top switch. Before you hit the bottom one, hit the top one. Alright, so I guess we can assume bottom is four. I think this is the order. One, two, three, four. Just based on these two already. No? Okay. Then... One... Two... Three, four. Maybe I should just read the whole lot. The door won't open unless you hit it in a circle. Hit the switch after the bottom one is the left one. I mean, if we're going by a circle. No. Okay, let's start again. The switch after the bottom one is the left one. Okay, so let's just say this one goes to here. Before you hit the bottom switch, hit the top one. Okay. Hit the right switch before the top switch. Thank <laughs> you. 
Do you hear squeaking, Lankles? Ah! How horrible! Your, go your ghost will be fine. Death is the worst case scenario, and I think we've already hit that worst case scenario. Thank you! Those beasts were just terrifying, I'd never want to see them again. B lava, lava. Sure, they look gross, but they're just wait. They're precious, just the same. <laughs> I have to be more cinematic with this game. What's this train? This, my dear, is the spirit's train. They entrusted us with its keeping. How did you know that? And you can hear me? Are you the sage of this tower? Well, I wouldn't put it exactly that way. But I do watch over the tower of spirits. My name is Anjean. I'm glad to see you. There's something we have to talk to you about. Hmm, yes. The pallor you're sporting is quite frightful. One might even call it rather hideous, in fact. <laughs> hideous? How dare you? I see that feistiness runs in your family, my dear. But there's no need to get your feathers all ruffled. Oh. Did you know someone in my family? Feisty and bright, just like she was. The fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Yes, I knew one of your ancestors. I met her when she had just arrived here. She and I were friends for a very long time. My family first arrived here about a century ago. Were you already here in the tower then, Anjean? That's a story for another time, my dear. Right now we must discuss a matter more grave. Tell me, do you know the story of this tower? Only what the folks, folk tales say. Long ago, the spirits of good and the demon king were embroiled in a never-ending war. In the end, the spirits could not defeat them, but they did manage to imprison him in this tower. If it's not chains or bars that keep him imprisoned, but an energy that flows between the tower and the four temples that surround it. Oh, of course, Anjin, then the spirit tracks. <laughs> Correct, my dear, the spirit tracks carry that energy. If the tracks are lost, the tower's energy will fade, and so will the Demon King's prison. And that's just what the evil ones are after. They aim to resurrect Maladus, the Demon King. Right now, my strength maintains its shackle, his shackles, but it's only a matter of time until they're broken. Of course, in order to resurrect Maladus, they need one other key ingredient. A vessel from the royal line of ancient Hyrule, with sacred power coursing through its veins. Yes, Maladus requires you in order to return. But only your shell, my dear. It would be the only vessel suitable for him to inhabit.
No! The Demon King is going to run around in my body? Blech! That's too disgusting for words. We have to stop them. We can't let the Demon King return. My thoughts exactly, my dear. At the top of this tower is your body. The Demon King's spirit is also there. To prevent him from possessing your body, you must fortify his prison. To do this, restore the energy between the temples and this tower. In other words, restore the tracks between here and the temples. But how? How do we restore the spirit tracks? The answer lies above us in the floors of this tower. Four stone rail maps are enshrined here. You must retrieve them. As you know, this tower connects our kingdom. Right now, the tower is filled with an evil energy. If you can get far enough to retrieve a rail map, a portion of the tracks will be restored. Start your search by climbing the stairs. Of course. Thank you, Anjin. We have a very important mission of you. The kingdom is in danger. You understand the gravity of the situation. You must find the sacred rail maps. I'll wait for you here. That's what the princesses have always done. From what I understood, it's kind of a family tradition. No need to be scared. Just buck up and get moving. Sorry to interrupt such an enthusiastic pep talk. But ascending this tower alone would be impossible. There are traps set to snag trespassers. Not to mention that pesky little monster infestation. Is that so? Well, I feel terrible asking, but... Anjin, can you guide Lankles upstairs? Have you already forgotten what I said? I have my hands full just keeping the tower together. I'm sorry, dear, but I just can't leave my post. Then, what should we do? So we go back and get Alfonso? Oh, but he's wounded. Teacher? The captain of the castle guard? But I suppose there's no time for that, is there? What if you went with him, my dear? Me? Go with him? But I'm not sure how much help I'd be in this state. Well, my dear, this kingdom is your responsibility. You mustn't ever forget that. I'm sure you'll find a way to help out somehow. <sighs> well, alright. We'd better get going then, Lankles. Up we go. So this is what the tower, or the inside of the tower looks like. I think it might be better to play like this, just looking at how I'm seeing things right now. Let's head over to that door. Alright, let's go. I'll have to change the camera angle quite a bit, I think. And <laughs> now we go back. Alright, there we go. Look at those giant doors, Lankles. They look really heavy. I don't think one person could open them alone. Oh my gosh. What in the world is that? I've never seen a monster as ferocious looking as that one, Lankles. Let's get out of here, Lankles. Oh. What's the matter? You look as pale as a ghost. Though given the company you've been keeping, perhaps it's no surprise. Anjin, there was a ferocious monster up there with a great big sword. 
I don't see how we could possibly defeat it. Sounds like a phantom, my dear. They're the guardians of the Tower of Spirits. Though they look quite sinister, they won't harm anyone with a good heart. I know what I saw, it was definitely after us. Why would it think Lankles is evil? There is one possible explanation. With the spirit tracks gone, perhaps an evil spirit has possessed the phantom. If that's the case, we might have trouble beating it. Hitting the phantom in the back of your sword should stop it for a while. But first you need to gather all three tiers of light. That will power up your sword and you'll be able to face the phantom. Collect the three tiers of light, then hit the phantom in the back. Sounds tricky. If anyone can do it, Lankles can. Alright, let's give it a try, Lankles. Your biggest gripe about this game is that it's pretty much Phantom Hourglass, but with trains. Yeah, I guess that's primarily the reason I don't remember it as much, just because there's... There's overlap. <laughs> a lot of it. I mean, this first map, like, let's face it, it's pretty much the first room in Phantom Hourglass, to a T. Right? Like, it is almost identical. Okay. The train people creeped you out? I don't remember the train people, but we'll see. There's something strangely calm about this area. Do you feel it too? Princess Zelda, can you hear me? It's Anjin. Oh, Anjin is creepy? Why? Anjin's just old. Has a big nose, I guess, but other than that. She has a train lower half. Oh? I thought she was in a wheelchair or something. <laughs> I didn't notice. Yes, it's me, my dear. Listen. The area you're in now is a safe zone, one that is protected by spirits. As long as you're in a safe zone, you are hidden from enemy view. Furthermore, enemies cannot enter safe zones. Make good use of safe zones to hide from phantoms. Now you have no time to waste. You must go find that rail map. Thank you, Anjin. Okay, let's get moving. It's a train. Okay, well, see ya. I'll have to look at that. But I just saw someone... I just... I don't know. I was just looking at their face. Having a conversation, I look at their face, not their lower body. But I guess... I just associated... Oh yeah, it's an old person. Very old person. They're probably just in a wheelchair. There is steam coming out of their tailpipe. I did not notice that. Look out, Lankles! Lankles! What just happened? Don't look so scared, Lankles. It's me, Zelda. I don't know what happened there. But when I saw that phantom corny, I just leaped at it without even thinking. Oh, this is really not my day, is it? First I lose my body, and now I look like a heap of scrap metal. And did I mention it's kind of hot in here? Oh. Wait a second. Maybe I can be of some use to you like this. It's not exactly what you'd expect from a princess, but right now, that can't really be helped. Come on, Lankles, let's get moving. We need to find my body, I mean, that rail map. <laughs> let's get this door open. We can do it together, Lankles. I mean, it is a little varied.
What? What do? Or are the the buttons somewhere? Trying to tap the button, but ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I see. I have to draw a line to get her to push. Well, it's a tutorial there. I don't think you can get through these floor spike cycles. Leave it to me, I'll figure something out. Good timing. gonna be a thing. There's another Phantom Lankles, but wait a second. Now that I'm in disguise, maybe I can trick him into thinking I'm on his side. I'll go try. Goes the patrol. It's not really helping me though, is it? time being. Uh. Hmm. Over here. No one's here. Why are we guarding it? It's nice to get out of that clanky outfit and back to my old self. 
There must be something special about this room. It looks like the light of your sword has disappeared too, Lankles. You got the forest rail map. <laughs> yeah. Four quadrants, you know. Pretty much identical, it's just with trains. Some of the lost spirit tracks are on it are reappearing. Still, it's gonna be fun. As long as I don't have to go fishing and spend four hours getting a heart container, we'll be fine. Mm -mm. Great job, Lankles. This must be the rail map Anjin was talking about. What could that blue light be? This is Anjin here. Good work, Princess Zelda and Lankles. You've done well obtaining the rail map, but you can't go any further now. Step into the light and return to the tower lobby. Well, you heard her, Lankles. Let's go. I mean, is her train a lower half or is she sitting in something? I mean, okay, I can see it better now. But there's still a possibility that it's just an old person sitting in a, tr in a vehicle and it's not their body. I don't know. Ah, so you managed to obtain the rail map. You too just might be able to restore the spirit tracks in every realm. But Anjin... The rail map has only a small part of the spirit tracks on it. What are the temples you were talking about? There are other train people? Yeah, but it could be the same thing. Everyone's just lazy. It's a society of lazy people. It's like people that try to get around on, on those, uh... What the fuck were they called? <laughs> those scooters. It's also in that movie Wally, -E, you know, like just humanity got to the point where it was just so lazy. I'm not thinking of Rascal, I'm thinking of the other one, like the one that's up that's standing up upright. Anyway, you know what I mean. They got banned in Australia, so that's why I've like forgotten their name. I don't think you can make it to the temple as things are right now. The rail map has imparted energy to a length of spirit tracks here. But because of the demon's power, much of its energy is lost. So we can't go to the temples, Anjin? Not yet, but there is a way to restore energy to the rail maps. You can ask my people to help you. Your people, Anjin? Indeed, we are called Locomos. We are servants of the spirits. They have entrusted us with protecting the temples and spirit tracks. By playing our sacred instruments, we generate energy that powers the spirit tracks. Sacred instruments? Yes, and the spirit flute you hold is one of them. The flute was a gift from my grandmother. I didn't know it had any powers. I'd only heard that it was something precious handed down from my ancestors. Yes, and it was I who gave it to your ancestors but only under the condition that they protect the land for all time. Of course, back then, I didn't think, think things would take such a perilous turn. I'm glad that after all these years, it has found its way into your hands. I had no idea this flute was so important. But my grandmother used to play it for me when I was a little girl. If I was sad or upset, the sound of this flute would make me feel better. But even so, I suppose its rightful place is with you, Anjin. No, you two will have need for it. Please take it with you, for now. You must go find the other locomos and restore the energy of the rail maps. Once you do, the tracks will reappear. Go to the forest first, where you must talk to the locomo Gage. South of the forest temple is a sanctuary where you can find Gage. He'll be able to tell you where to go next. Got it. Let's go, Lankles. Oh, 
But we don't have a train. How are we going to get to the forest? You may take this. <laughs> I think if I was a kid playing this, I would just think that the the just... They're just in a scooter or like a, a wheelchair. I wouldn't think that their bottom half was made out of a train. This is tra this train is a symbol of the spirits. People don't ordinarily ride around in that. But these are no ordinary circumstances. I'm sure the spirits wouldn't mind lending it to you. Thank you, Anjin. Okay, hold up. I'm looking at the official law for the locomo. Okay. So this is this is the official law. All members of the locomo have pointy ears, a characteristic they share with Hylians. The Locomo are usually seen riding a sort of small vehicle that bears the symbol of the spirits. Riding. Keyword is riding. It's not that their body is a lower, like a vehicle. They're not like a, a train centaur, I guess. <laughs> a train tour. So there you go. They're, they're not- they're not half trained, they're not half human. They just ride around... ...in a vehicle. There's something strangely powerful about the rail map you discovered. If you trace your stylus over the tracks, it'll set a path to your destination. Go on and try it. Okay. Loco tour. <laughs> I like that. That's that's officially what they are. They're loco tours. Also, this this theme is great. Oh, just one last thing about the rail map. Should you decide to change your destination mid course, redraw your route. Yeah, it's like the ship. Unfortunately, I haven't enough power to speak to you with beyond this point. Be brave, you two. I really enjoy this theme. Out of the way. Combat. <laughs> it's, just, it's not even combat, it's just toot the horn. Shoot! Am I- am I just hurting its ears? <laughs> if I do that the whole way, does that mean nothing will get in my way? Okay, you can hold it, hold it for so long. Just, this is the most obnoxious train you will ever see.
This forest feels odd. I wonder what happens if I went the other way. Hmm. I'm just going around in circles, aren't I? Left. It's the Lost Woods. Well, I guess I accidentally brute forced it. I don't know. Okay. One of the locomotives should be somewhere around here. Let's search a little more. We finally made it out of there. The forest was so creepy, I thought a ghost might pop out. Scary. Anjin says the locomotive by the name of Gage lives here. Let's find him. Yes. The person riding around in a vehicle, not the person with their lower half being a, a train somehow. Like, that would imply that... If, if that were true, then it would have to be like, it's a flesh train. As opposed to a metallic train, because how do you fuse, like, organs with metal? And have that occur naturally? Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to make you think of a flesh train now, so... <laughs> but I mean, it's still strange, it's like, at birth, this... this race, they give, uh... You know, their child, their first vehicle. And they just- they just ride in that forever. This game has rock people, why not half metal? Well, because the rock people are fully rock people. You know, it's not half- it's not half human and half rock. Or humanoid and rock. I mean, look at it this way, even the the whole, like, half fish and half human thing isn't a thing. They don't- they say mermaids aren't real. So, they're going to acknowledge, like, a half train, half- half person. The music goes hard. It is significantly better to Phantom Hourglass. That is the biggest upgrade of this. It's just, it's actual music instead of a, uh, in some cases, a loop. A five second loop. This is a stamp station, but you don't have a stamp book. Person and a train love each other very much. Oh no. Where's the rolling? 
you're about to make a tailpipe joke. Yeah, well, I guess that's the most creative spot if you were to say that that's how, uh, that's how it happens. What? I fell through the floor, right? I wasn't just imagining that. What? I did? Okay. Just checking. Oh no, this is going well. I don't think there's enough time to carry this across. There's no time to carry us across. <sighs> Am I just a dumbass and have gone the wrong way? Clearly need bombs or a way to step on that switch. You remember none of this game. Yeah, same. I definitely played it. I don't remember a thing. This is one of these things that has a simple solution and I'm gonna hate it. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> My feet were still on the platform, that's bullshit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had to drop it, I had to drop it, but that's the answer. That's the answer. Give health, please, or I'm gonna die. Thank you. Okay. Connect the two stones. Connect the two stone statues that face each other. Okay, well this one's face... Oh. Hold on. This one's facing down. This one's facing this way. This one's facing this way. This one's facing this way. I wish there was an undo button, you know? Okay, we we'll already have our answer.
I wonder if this game assumed that you had played Phantom Hourglass, you know? Because this seems a little more intricate than the first area. In Phantom Hourglass. Are you Gage of the Gage of the Locomos? Well, yes, I'm Gage, and my lower half is a train. Thank you for asking. Oh, he seems quite a bit more informal than Anjin, doesn't he? What was that now? If you've got something to say, I'd like to hear it. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant no offense. Actually, Anjin sent us to speak with you. Oh, yes, of course. You're the youngsters with that wonderful flute. And you're here to restore the spirit tracks to the forest temple, yes? Um, I mean, yes. Yes, of course. We need to recharge the Tower of Spirits with the energy of the forest. Yes, that rail map of yours can't do it alone. You need more spirit tracks. And gene equals engine, gauge equals gauge. Yeah, I picked up on the puns. Well, there is a way. Would you like to hear it? Train people. Okay, but listen, confirm me. We have people named after cars. People name their children Porsche and Mercedes. That doesn't mean they're car people. <laughs> like, maybe they're just really into their trade. We also have a person called Teacher. It's not like they're a teacher person. To restore the tracks that disappeared, you need to know a special song. This Lokomo song is a duet that requires two sacred instruments. My cello and your spirit flute should do the trick. With both instruments playing the song, we can restore the map's energy. So shall we try it? Yes. Best of luck to you, Lankles. I should really be the one playing the spirit flute, but I can't do it in this state. I'm sure you'll do a wonderful job, though. By the way, I bet you're wondering why I'm half train and half human. You see, my grandpappy stuck his dick in a muffler. That's the explanation that we're going for this children's game. It is likely that we had people fucking vehicles as opposed to just maybe innocently thinking that they're riding around in one. That's the law we're going with, that people somehow... Oh dear. Okay. Oh no. Okay, uh... <laughs> One sec. I have to- I have to blow into this thing again. Okay. Just be- it's- you're not gonna hear it, but just know that this is on. <laughs> My microphone is so good that you can only hear the sound of the hairdryer starting up, but after that you can't really hear it. So I'm pretty impressed with this mic. Shall we try to play the song? Let's. Alright, let's practice a bit before we launch into the real thing. This song has two parts, which is played by a different instrument. For now, just follow my lead. Okay. I'm going to start by teaching you how to play the spirit flute. Slide the flute so the note you want to play is in the middle of the screen. Then blow it to the microphone and play the note. Good. Now I'll teach you your part. For this song is a, I'm about to play. Imitate me as closely as you can. Pay attention to the timing. Just match the color of the musical note of the pipe you want to play. When you've had enough practice, uh, tap the arrow to rest a bit.
for the real performance to play that part after my part. Goes, me, you, me, you, in that order. Don't miss the timing. Yes. Okay. Oh no, your timing was all wrong. This is this is bad. This is really bad. Yes, all right. I might not be able to do it with the hair dryer. This is not going to work. I'm going to have to do it for real. All right, hold up. But I don't want to blow into the microphone because it's just... Ugh. All right, I'll try it again. This is way worse. Just doesn't keep it up, like... Uh, yeah, this is not good. doesn't appear to be sensitive enough. I think the hair dryer is actually better, believe it or not. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Can I just say, like, it is the worst fucking thing that they do in these games is, like, put timing into it for something that is janky. Okay.
No, it, it worked this time. <laughs> this is going to be a fun playthrough. I can't, I can't do it by blowing into it, just for the record. Like, I've tried, it just, it's not sensitive enough, and I'm gonna get tired. So the hair dry, the hair dryer is the best way, currently. No memes. Jeez. I mean, let's just hope we don't have to do that too many times, it's just four times. <sighs> you completed the duet. With, uh, Gage, the Locomo, the Forest Realm. Jeez. The rail map has started glowing. New ra New map- yeah, whatever. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> the tracks to the Forest Temple have been restored. You're a natural lad at Lankles. And you sounded really good too. Now let's head to the Forest Temple. Thank you so much, Gage. Good luck, but be careful. The fire sample can be very dangerous. The flute is often used. Okay, fantastic. I look forward to it. Well, yeah, I tried... Did you hear anything coming from that stone? Shit. Okay, that time I did do it with, with, uh... With me blowing air into it. I think there's a specific way I need to do it. Oh, that was a nice nap. That song just now. Was that you who played it? Then I'll give you this valuable piece of information. Listen. The song you just played was the song of awakening. Guys like me are scattered all over the place. If you play us that song, we'll tell you valuable information. Why did they change this from just tapping? <sighs> anyway. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's great. I'm gonna put an S for stamp as well. Chest here. How do I get that chicken down? <laughs> yeah, okay. That's how that's how physics works. Stone just shatters before it touches anything. Would you like to take the train out of here? Sure. The tracks to the forest temple have been restored. Let's go. Oh, listen to that theme.
was trying to make a... Stop it! I was trying to make a joke that, you know, the train is on fire and we're just going about our business. So this is the forest temple. Are you ready for what's to come, Blankles? Of course. Good, let's go. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. At least it's not super sensitive where it, um... Sometimes it'll play a double note, so at least it's pretty forgiving when it comes to that. Hiya, thanks for summoning me. As a reward for awakening me, I'll lend you my power one time. If you're close to running out of life, play this song and I'll come rescue you. Nifty, huh? Right, and one more thing, you can't just summon me anywhere. Only a place with strong energy, like a temple or the Tower of Spirits. Really? Even even the heels are going to be behind me, blowing into the microphone? Should have called it the spirit flute instead of the spirit tracks, just saying. Imagine I hadn't saved something. Why did I why did I just do that? Oh, is this some this is a microphone thing? Is this really a microphone thing? Let's see. Just checking. I do want to do like a good chunk of this today, so we'll be playing this for a while.
I do hope you can hear the sound of this as I use it. Or at the very least of it starting up. There's no- I'm gonna- I'm gonna get fatigue if I keep blowing into this mic. Like, my cheeks are gonna start hurting. You see how ridiculous I look? Like, in, on one hand I have a stylus, and on the other I have a hairdryer. That's <laughs> just... It's... It's kind of like... Instead of Joy-Cons, <laughs> this is my thing. One's a stylus and the other one's a hairdryer. I'm not gonna blow into this mic constantly, That's, this is gonna make me tired. These are the lengths I have to go to to stream games. Right, I have to do this again. Ah, oh, that was a nice nap. Oh, you're searching for hidden treasure? Sorry, there aren't any chests left on this floor. <laughs> I really hope you can hear the sound of the hairdryer turning on and off. It's just... Remember those things explode. See, Nintendo was so ahead of their time to have hairdryer integration with their games. Don't have a stamp book. Okay. Put the S for stamp. I should probably find out where the stamp book is sooner rather than later. Was the pun? Ah. Yeah, 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 maybe. Ah, that was a nice nap. Searching for hidden treasure. Sorry. Okay. I mean, you're gonna hear it. I'm just gonna say that this blows. <laughs> Okay. 
you thought for a sec, wait, legit, I wanted more games to need to use for hair dryers. I got confused. <laughs> no, no, I was being very, very sarcastic. <laughs> But that being said, uh, the Game Boy did have a sewing machine cartridge that you could, uh, it integrated with a sewing machine, so, you know, there have been dumber accessories. I'll see how we're looking at. Just imagine one day all these simulator games won't be simulators. <laughs> it's true. Is this just a whirlwind battle? Like, what is this? Well, it's not working. This would make you tired if you had to blow into this. Just imagine how tiring this would be. I think I know what I need to do. I need to wait for it. Okay. Stupid. It's cause I said, gee, I really hope we don't have to use the microphone a lot. Look at that keyhole ankles. I think you'll need a special key. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. I see. I can't believe I'm having to play this with a hairdryer. Like, I, I can't blow into this mic that much. Like, is it, is it just gonna make me tired? It's gonna. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow with just sore cheeks. Especially how sensitive this is. You're searching for hidden treasure. Okay. Oops. Oh, joy. Why won't it make the gap now? <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. That big key looks like it'll open the door in the center of the room. Let's take it. Hold on. It looks like a map of this room. What are these skulls and what do the arrows mean? Phantoms. Cut. Just a path, all right. I bet if I strayed from the path, it was going to do something bad. Dry already. Oh. Oops, I did the wrong thing. There we go. 
accidentally click and drag. What a fun fight! Come on, coward. I don't get it. Was I supposed to shoot it into him? Yeah, okay. That's what it is. Simple enough strategy. Oh, that missed. Oops. I messed up. I went around behind them, I should have known. One hit. Really? That's all that remained? Okay. Well, I'm putting the hair dryer down. Because I assume I won't have to use it for a little while.
Hooray! Good job, Lankles. The forest rail map started glowing. Look, Lankles, we can return to the temple entrance from there. Let's get back. Okay. Swap layouts again. This is a lot of uh, layout swapping. I mean, if this is anything like Phantom Hourglass, we're going back to the Tower of Spirits. That is so, so dumb. Admittedly, it's a bit more to do than just tapping. But just conceptually blowing a horn, <laughs> like, the pacifist route. Possess train. <laughs> what? What was that? I don't know what just happened, but it doesn't look good. Let's just stay away from those trains. I think it would be best. Okay. The psycho music starts when those trains are nearby. Can we get a, a cannon for the train? Like the ship? A rail gun. We need like a massive rail gun. Because, you know, we're, we're on a rail system, so a rail gun makes sense. There's a rabbit over there. I bet that'll be a thing later. Thank you. 
I being chased by a, a spooky train? No. We're okay. She's here. Thanks to you two, the forest temple has been re-energized, and now the Tower of Spirits has plenty of energy too. Thank you. What temple should we head for next? The next temple is deep in the mountains and closed off by snowstorms. But again, you must first obtain a rail map. Now that the energy from the forest is flowing into the tower again, you can go farther up the tower to the next level of... To the, to the level of the next rail map, jeez. Obtain it quickly, you two. For you must get to the next temple soon. Got it. You can count on us. Alright, let's go get that second rail map, Lankles. Look, Lankles. The stairs go up higher than they did when we were here last time. Let's go to the new floor and find the next rail map. Okay, good. I don't have to repeat floors, which I guess is nice. But that being said, there are chests from previous floors that I'll probably explore later. It looks hot in here. Getting into one of those clanky suits of armor is the last thing I want to do. But I'll do it if you think it'll help. Please. Well, I'm not looking forward to this. I hope I can endure the heat. You really like this game? It's alright. It's not bad. I think... It shares a lot of elements from Phantom Hourglass, which... is a little bit of a downside, I think. It's not... Distinct... In some ways, but it is fun. The soundtrack is a lot better than Phantom Hourglass. That's for sure. Okay, here's a, here's a question for you, Cookie. I'm gonna take a survey from people that have played this. Do you think that the Locomo... The, the, do they have a train or like a machine as a lower half or are they sitting in a vehicle? Look at a picture, okay. Shit, I gotta... I gotta be quick. Wait, it doesn't work. Okay, hold on. That worked. You'd say it's the lower half, okay. I guess I'm the weird one. I am correct, by the way. Like, I, I was saying that I thought it was just someone in a vehicle or, like, a wheelchair or something. And that's what they are.
I just saw what, what you had to do. Okay, it's fine. Really? This is a little annoying. I have to be more patient. to use them as a shield. No. I mean, this aspect is pretty cool. Hey, look. Now that I'm a phantom, I can walk through fire and lava. I'm like a walking, talking shield, Lankles. I'm gonna get over to the safe zone. for that. Wait, but how am I supposed to cross? Ride on my shield, just tap to jump aboard. Okay, it's <laughs> pretty cool. What did other people say? Um, I mean, it, the conversation stemmed from like someone saying that they were afraid of the train people when they were younger, and I asked why, and it was because their lower halves were made out of uh, a train, and I was like, what? <laughs> I just thought there were people inside like a carriage or a wheelchair or something. And then I had to look it up, and I was right. <laughs> So, what was, what was the term again? It was, um, loco, loco tour. They're not loco tours. How do I get, how do I hop off? Oh, there we go.
Oh, that's cool. Can I not do anything about that? I can, okay, I can just tap. Still a bit sketchy. Okay, one sec. Ugh. going on here. That's an enemy. Stop. Okay. Can I get off this way? Apparently I can't be thrown that way. Okay, I see the gimmick. Oh boy. Eek, what is that disgusting monster? Phantoms are terrifying, but at least they're not as revolting as that thing. Let's fight him together, Lankles. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We did it! When we work together, nothing out there can stop us, right, Lankles? It didn't work. 
Maybe I should just ignore these things for now. I bet you could hop on top of my shield from that perch. Ah, I see. You can do the same thing, huh? Get the money. Okay, as long as we got the big one. I didn't go low enough. There we go. There's a statue here. So dumb. Having to blow into the microphone a lot aside, this is fun. I'm back to the way I was before, Lankles. That must mean the rail map is in this room. You got the snow rail map. Some of the lost spirit tracks on it are reappearing. So you've retrieved the, the second rail map, then your next task is clear. You must go to the snow temple and restore the flow of energy to the tower. Find the snow sanctuary where the locomo Steam resides and talk to him. He'll help you open the way to the temple. Let's go. Very well, be careful. There's a bit of a theme with their names. Okay. Music is so good. Oh, I 
The combat is just so weird, though. If we keep getting hit... Oh, we just keep getting hit. If this keeps up, our train is going to explode. Maybe we should go back to Castle Town and see if Alfonso can help us. That was close. Okay, it registered as me going to Castle Town. It's been so long since I've been home. I wonder if I'll, how Alfonso and Teacher are. Okay, well, we're gonna take a small two minute intermission chat. I just wanna refill my water bottle and uh, stretch my legs because it's been three hours, but we are going to continue. So get a snack or something and uh, yeah, we'll continue spirit tracks. So don't go anywhere. But if you are watching this later on YouTube, this is where we say farewell. And I hope you've enjoyed the playthrough so far. So, you know. Do the algorithm stuff if you did. Okay, bye YouTube. <laughs> See ya.